Hey everyone, it's Colt. I hope you're all doing well, staying safe and sane, and at least somewhat mildly content. Today, I'm here with the second installment in a series of coding challenges. The first one I released a couple of months ago. It may have taken me longer than anticipated to actually review all of your submissions, but the first one was relatively straightforward, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, make a multi-step form. This challenge is a bit of a departure. I'm asking you to create an application that uses a webcam, if you have a webcam, we'll talk about a, an alternative option, uses a webcam to track a user's face or body or both, or just a single part of their face, their nose or whatever it is, and makes some sort of sound music in response. So we're not going for, or you don't have to go for something beautiful or artistic. Uh, there are so many ways of doing this. I'll show you a couple of examples, but the core mechanic is tracking some sort of motion on the screen using a webcam, so motion in the real world, and translating that to some sort of audio. So that could be something like this. Or it could be something like this one here, very different. Or this one here. And here's one that tracks your whole body. So keep in mind that all of those examples are definitely more polished than I'm expecting. Um, none of them, as you, as you saw and heard, are uh, particularly useful musical instruments. This challenge is really more about uh, researching and incorporating different tools together that you may not be familiar with. Unlike the previous challenge, which is more bread and butter, you know, making a form and click events and that sort of thing. So there are a couple of things I would just mention uh, up front. You'll definitely want to use, well, you'll probably want to use a couple of libraries. You don't have to. I mean, you could write the code yourself to track a face. Uh, it's just not easy at all. Working with audio is a little bit easier, but I would recommend using a library here. If you have more than one sound going at once, uh, it can be kind of a pain in, it can be a headache. So I would use a library for face tracking or motion or body tracking or whatever you want to call it. And another library for working with audio, music, samples, that sort of thing. Um, so part of this challenge is really doing the research and figuring out what tools there are. There are two, in, two maybe three popular JavaScript um, face tracking, body motion tracking libraries out there. If you just do a quick search, you'll find them. Um, I think probably any of them will work for this, but you might want to do some comparisons. Now, if you're someone who does not have a webcam, um, you can still, and I hope you will do this challenge, but get creative. So generate music based off of mouse movements or uh, the accelerometer on a mobile device. If you have a phone that has that, come up with something that is not just clicking. All right, so that's pretty much it for the requirements. Very few requirements other than that I would like to be able to move in some way and make some sort of sound <laughs> using the camera. Unless you don't have a camera, in which case we just discussed, there are other options. Now, if you do want to submit your code, if you want it to be part of the, uh, the follow-up video that I'll be making, I'm changing things a little bit this time. Here's the form that you'll also find a link to in the description. I'm asking for the deployed application, um, so you'll need to deploy it somewhere. Just It could be a GitHub page or something. Uh, include the link here, and then a link to the GitHub repo containing the actual code. Then, uh, if you want me to mention you by name in the video, enter your name. If you leave it blank, then I'll just say this is from Anonymous. Uh, and then asking you how difficult you found the challenge. And then this part's different here. I'm asking you two questions. What did you struggle with the most in this challenge? Is there anything in particular that gave you a really hard time or that uh, you, know, you had to Google a bunch? And then this part here, is there any particular piece of the code that you are especially proud of or that you want me to focus on when I'm reviewing your code? So when we get 
you know, 100 something or more 200 solutions and submissions, I can't go and, and really do a thorough code review for every single one. So please tell me about your code and, and what you think is especially good or bad, right? There's no, uh, I think some of the utility potentially from a video like this or from these challenges is an, in identifying um, any parts that could be improved. So don't use this exclusively to brag about your code, but maybe identify something that you're worried about or that you're unsure about as well. All right, so I'm gonna leave this challenge open uh, for three weeks, I believe. Let's see, it is June 8th. I'm gonna leave this going or leave this form open until the end of June, um, just because this is a little bit more challenging and uh, just broader in scope. Don't worry a whole lot about making nice CSS or uh, anything particularly interesting to look at. Adding in uh, a nice interface or even just little circles here on the right hand side, as you can see, it's not required at all, but if you have the time uh, and you're, you have the motivation and energy, then definitely go for it. And uh, I'll take a look at your submissions. So find the form in the description. Those are the requirements. Let me know if you have any questions and good luck. Hope everyone's doing well and I'll be back in a couple days. Bye.